Good morning. Good morning, family. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Momo. So I have something really cool planned today, but I didn't want to throw some random Nishi GoPro clips out in without explaining what we were doing. So we got all the boys and girls here, and we are about to do trains on Nishi because it's only open in the morning, and we all really want to drive it. So oh, we have Shiesty Jim in the building. Give me all your katsu curry, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we have the katsu curry thief of Fukushima. Better watch out. All right, let me get my jack back from the Canadian, and uh, then I can. Hey, I have an impact gun, Tristan. Ah, all good. Okay, I know, but I need to do tires. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, let me get my tires thrown on, and then Nishi trains. I also GoPro on the outside of the window. You guys seem to really like that view. I liked it too, so we're gonna run with it. See you on track. doesn't end. Woo! All right, let's get back out there. So Jimmy called this door cam, so welcome. Welcome to door cam. to drive, let's see how they're doing, because it's pretty cool. Boomer energy. <laughs> Dude. What pass is that? Have you seen that pass before? 
like an autocross? That oh, just is, for Curry Curry Land. Just for Curry Curry. That's kind of sick. Cool. Huh? We should just like. Just to get one? Dude, yeah, look at the extender. You see it? Oh, that's so gangster. Yeah, right. This thing's rad. Have you seen a Miata with a full built in cage? Like, they didn't have any more any room to begin with. Like, you have to be at least 5'2 yeah, to fit into this. this. This thing is cool. The Curry Curry Land passes are gangster. Yeah, The skirts on that thing. You it's know? the little stuff. Looks like it's snowing up in the mountains again. And I'm finally gonna bring you guys to lunch because I've been teasing you for days. And I, yeah. Let me get, they said I'm a, a food channel now. Grant comments. Order spaghetti in Japan again. I'm gonna get katsu curry today, actually. I'm gonna get spaghetti. Yeah, do it. No, You're gonna be. Katsu you gotta curry. try it, Jim. Watch your petty spaghetti. You're gonna turn Dude, it. That's a good name. <laughs> your petty spaghetti. Petty, you petty spaghetti. Jim, look at this shirt. Oh, it's a good one. Bunch of lads over here. <laughs> oh, we should get it at the wrong time. I have 30 people in line. The most important part of lunch is water. Check out this machine. Does ice and water at the same time? Japanese are so damn smart. Yeah, Jim, I'm I'm on your wave now. The, the katsu curry wave. Yeah. What do you get, Kane? Oh, miso chashu every day, every day, every day. Really, you're not a katsu curry guy? I am, but uh, I miss this too much every time. What do you get, Momo? You don't. Looks good. It looks good done, you know. You're showing your age. Yeah, Dad, it's like that. Fuck you, Kane. <laughs> Alright, time to enjoy. was good and we're just I feel like a freaking teenager with these kids again there I love these dudes so much it's always such a blast uh, we had such a wild morning I think we're just gonna relax for the rest of the day but we'll see what we get into oh actually I have something to do you'll see soon all right now for the fun part unfortunately Chelsea and Chelsea went to Tokyo for the next few days but Chelsea asked me if I would go do some laps in his 1J swapped left hand drive E36 wagon. And obviously I'm gonna drive a 1J E36 in Japan. It's the freaking coolest thing ever, so go take this thing out, get it up to temperature, make sure it doesn't overheat, and uh, go do some laps, make sure it's all sorted for when he gets back on Thursday, and then we can all drive together, so it should be really good. What an absolute unit this thing is. Oh God, I hope I fit in here. Let's see. Oh yeah, baby. We are Gucci, hell yeah. So my biggest concern was not being able to fit in here. So now that I know I do. Hell yeah. We got this little can gauge, which is really nice. We have coolant tab, oil tab. That doesn't look like it's working. Feels right at home, baby. I think we're gonna go down to school course first and uh, I'll just feel the car out, make sure it doesn't overheat or anything. And then should be good to go. Yes! Thank you so much, Chelsea. Link in bio for Chelsea's YouTube channel. He's becoming a YouTuber whether he thinks he is or not. So go show him some love, go show him some support, and uh, freaking pump for this. Thank you again, dude. What do you think of my new car, Jim? 
Suiting. Suiting, yeah. Jay-Z E36 is good. so good. Good car, good car. I hopped in this and I went, oh, feels like home. Yeah, Probably gonna make a fool of myself, but I don't really care about any of that. I just wanna make sure the car is good and doesn't overheat and everything works well. Uh, we know there's an issue with the transmission popping out of gear, but Chelsea said once it gets warm, it gets better. So let's see how we do the first couple laps. Rental son is about to drive Chelsea Sama's car. Hasn't been tested yet. I think we just gotta figure out, you just, you just want to see if the thing will actually stay cool or not. Yeah, he said drive it a bunch and just make sure it doesn't get hot. Yeah, okay. I think we'll know pretty quickly if yeah, it gets yeah, hot yeah. or not. If, if you could do two laps consecutively in school course, I'd yeah. say it's good enough. Same. If you can't, then I would say it sucks. So what I'm gonna do, and I wanna hear what your opinion is on this too. Yeah, let's hear it. I'd like to do some donuts at first, just yeah. to feel the car out, uh -huh. and then I'll start playing yeah, around a little bit. Build up. All right, thank you, bye. You're editing the video, so you can do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> <laughs> right into Manji's on the wall. Yeah, exactly, right on the wall. This looks so goofy. Alright, first clutch kick didn't blow up yet. That's good news. Looks very good, done. It must be so weird to drive left hand drive at Ebisu. It just feels wrong. Chelsea Samo's car. Talk to me, Grit. I don't know, it looks like a blue coolant hose or something. Uh. Hey, so. It was perfect until whatever just happened happened. It was at 190. No way. The whole time. That's amazing. How? It's an SR radio. So there's no cool on this side, so it's over here. It's probably from here. Unless the radiator has a hole in it. No, I wouldn't have just started it. All right, well, give us a give us a few minutes. <laughs> All right, so we realized that a coolant plug popped off the side of the block. I had the video. Oh yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. It's the main one. Team Team Warehouse. Team Boys. With Team Team Junkyard. <laughs> I got a heater coat, a heater hose with a wheel stud. Teamed up, Shorty. A hose.
clothes clamp and then a regular clamp for there. With so pliers. pliers are in my back pocket. We're gonna get you right, Chelsea. We're gonna get you right. CT boys back at it again. <laughs> Wait till it gets the bill. Before the coolant plug popped off, uh, the car didn't get hot. It self steered very well. Everything felt great. So I think I'm gonna band aid it with the Team Cheam warehouse fix and uh, put some water in it, drive it back up and park it, and I'll let them permanently fix this because the way we are fixing it right now is not the correct way. So thanks again, Chelsea. It's really cool. Once you get that sorted out, you should be good to go. So we ended up figuring out what happened to the car. Since they had to put a new radiator in this car, it's mounted a lot lower. So to bleed it properly, you need a bleeder funnel that uses a cap that goes on top of the radiator. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. Anyway, when it was removed, the rubber o-ring for the funnel was left in there. Radiator cap was put on top, which means when the car got up to coolant pressure, the cap couldn't open to release pressure. So instead of releasing pressure, it blew the cap off the side of the block. There was like a, a plugged port on the side of the block. So that is why the coolant cap blew off the side of the engine and the coolant dumped out of the engine. I would rather have found this out than him since he has such limited time to drive. Uh, him and his wife are down in Tokyo right now for their anniversary. Anyway, besides the point, um, I'm glad we figured this out now so that it can be fixed when he gets back. We can get right to driving because when he gets here, LZ will be here, all the boys will be here, and we can just get right into some good tandems. All right, that's it. Let's, uh, let's see what else we get into today, but uh, this was pretty fun. Got into a little tussle with some tires on the track. that was on the car. Thankfully, I have the original one, so I'm gonna throw this back on. Good to go.